What's up guys, it's your host Professor Showtime here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Go PvP. We're at rank 7 so things are really really heating up. If you guys don't know rank 10 is the top, we're going at it. We start out with our Charum versus a Zapdos, so we won the league. Let's let's talk about that for one second. When, when people say they won the lead, that means that their starting Pokemon counters the opponent starting Pokemon. So we won the lead. Or we thought we did. Let's continue the battle. Grass versus electric. Grass, electric is weak to grass. Grass strong to electric. So we're going to try it. An attack is coming. We're not going to block because we're thinking Zapdos with an electric attack. Who knows? That That's not going to hurt us. Guys, we were wrong. So in Pokemon Go, Zapdos usually packs a drill peck. Who knew? We got walloped. So now it's going to be hard because we have a Skarmory and we have a Primate. We're not going to pick the Primate, but Skarmory, Skarmory is our best bet. But we have to shield because we don't want to get hit with an electric attack. And now we figure out, this is the moment where we figure out Zapdos doesn't have any electric moves. So we're like, oh man Zapdos, you're toast. You don't have any electric moves. I'm just going to farm you down. And when people say farm down... That means they're not going to use their charge move. That means they're just going to save energy. And they're just going to build energy by using their quick attacks or their fast attacks. Let's continue the match. I'm just going to continue. I'm not going to block this time because I know Zapdos does not have any electric moves. It's not effective. So we can just continue to farm them down with no problem. We're going to save our Brave Bird energy. We over over. Overused it, and that's going to help us coming up. My opponent is going to come up with a Harim champ, Harima, and I'm not excited about this matchup because you guys know fighting beats steel. So we don't. We're going to try to switch out as quick as possible. We switch out, and it's fighting versus fighting. We don't like this matchup too much, but we have Night Slash as our secondary move. It's going to be a dark move. We're going to shield because we we want to keep our primate in as long as possible. That's the only reason we're, we're shielding. So we block. And now we're going to hit our Night Slash with whatever comes in. And oh my gosh, he switches in to a Latias and we're super excited. It's a Psychic type Pokemon. So our Dark Move counters it and the shield turns red. He blocks it. So let me talk about that for one second, guys. So you guys see when the shield turns red, that means that the opponent or you would have done a lot of damage. So that means it's a good shield. So anytime you see a, a, a red shield, it means it's a good shield. That means that your typing, your attack typing was super effective or effective against your opponent's attack or vice versa. So when you see a red shield and you doing it, that means it's a good block. Let's continue with the video. So now my opponent is gonna, it's gonna he's gonna have an advantage which is quick move but we're gonna try to get to another night slash and we do and guys you guys gotta practice this you gotta make sure you try to get excellent on all of these it makes a difference see how super effective it is dark is super effective against um fighting i mean against psychic dark super effective against fighting so we get him down he's gonna bring back in his harima and a fighting it's a fighting type pokemon we bring back in our our flying type pokemon and this is really really interesting guys we get to the Brave Bird, and because we over farmed before, you guys remember when we over overcharged it before? That's why we were able to get to our Brave Bird. It's super effective. Let me bring this back a little bit because this is a key matchup. Let me show you guys how interesting this matchup is. Um, we're going to talk about it for a second. I'm just going to bring it back a little bit. Oh, man. Ouch. Sorry, guys. All right. So check it out. Army versus Harima. Let's talk about this in detail. Skarmy is a steel flying type. Hariyama, and I'm not good at pronouncing the names. I'm sorry, I've only been doing it for over 20 years. Hariyama is a fighting type Pokemon. His fighting type Pokemon can is effective against my steel type Pokemon because fighting beats steel. But my flying type Pokemon, Skarmy is also a flying type Pokemon. Is effective against his fighting type Pokemon so with this matchup it's whoever gets to their charged move first and remember guys during the beginning of the match we over farmed the Skarmy versus the Zapdos so we didn't use the Brave Bird when we had to so that way now our Brave Bird is charged up and ready to go again and let's showcase this it's whoever gets to their charge move first and notice just one more thing his Skarmy is ranked 1471 and my uh 
and my I mean his harima is ranked fourteen seventy one, and my Scaramy is nowhere near there. I think I think it's near like not even thirteen hundred. So his is really PvP ready. Mine isn't, but matchups matter. Type typing matchups matter more than um typing matchup or effectiveness matters more than CP. CP helps a lot, but just as important or even more important is the typing matchup you can't simply just overpower your opponent with brute force most of the time most of the time i have another match i want to showcase to you guys and it's really really interesting as well early matchup i was earlier in the uh in the league but we win the lead again actually we lose the lead so as soon as you lose the lead what you want to do is you want to switch out as quick as possible we switch out into the into our grass type pokemon so now grass should be effective against electric and this time we're not going to shield because we know we can take a wild charge we can take an electric attack it's not effective it's a lot because his cp is 1490 and mine is only 1332 but we're able to farm him down with just our fast moves with no problem because the type effectiveness is is there and then he's going to switch in or she's going to switch into a right on and i'm like yowzers yeah, look how quickly I farmed the right on down. And guys, the reason why, let's bring it back just a little bit. The reason why I was able to farm this right on down is because right on is ground and rock. And ground is uh, weak to grass and rock is weak to grass. So it's double super effective. So look at the health at my uh, of my Cherim. And look at the health of his right on, which is full. And look at the CP of my Cherim. Cher Versus the CP of his right on. Check it out, guys. Check it out. He comes in and he's just gonna get blasted. When I'm saying blasted, he's just gonna get blasted. Let me bring it back. I don't know what just happened. Let me just bring it back one more time. All right. So he brings in the right on, and his right on is just gonna get blasted. Look at his CP. Look at my CP. He's at 1499. It's probably like a rank two in the world or rank three in the world, and we, he just gets blasted by my 1332. Again, another bad matchup. He's gonna use his uh, Zapdos. We're able to. We had our charge moves um, farmed up because we didn't use any before. He blocks it because he needed to. And uh, of course, we're trying to switch, but we don't get the switch up in time. He gets us down, but that's okay. We have our little Waylord. Gonna be a Waylord soon, guys. It's a Waylord. You guys know Waylord is my mascot. I love Waylord. But shout out to Poke Fighter. So he's gonna. I'm gonna bring out my uh. My Skarami, and I'm gonna of course block it because I don't want to see this one had a thunder That one had a thunder that was at what I was hoping for the first game the first game that I showed you guys I was hoping the Zapdos had a thunder this Zapdos had a thunder the other one had a peck Oh my gosh, this game is so amazing So I block it the shield turned red like we said before when the shield turns red that means it was a good block because electric is super effective against steel and uh, Let's keep it going so now we're just going to farm it down with our flying attacks. It's not doing too much damage, but we know we're going to we're going to have a brave bird coming up, but another attack is coming. We're going to shield it. So you guys know when when you shield, you only get one damage taken to you and it's it's not much at all. And it turns red again, so these are good shields. These would have walloped us. His Zapdos is 1491. My Skarami is not even 1300. So CP is important. But more important is, or just as important, is type type effectiveness. So he blocks again. So now it's a race to see who's going to get to the charge move first. And you guys know our Brave Bird is stacked because of what we did earlier. And it's difficult to get excellent on these. So you got to really try to get excellent. It We missed one and we got great, but that's okay. Not effective, but it's enough to take down the Zapdos. Guys, this game is super, super fun. The PvP matchups are free. You get like 35 or 40 a day. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to be super friends. It's ranked. It's up to 10. It's all type effectiveness. I'm having a blast. If you like the content, go ahead and sub to the channel. Click the like button. This is our very first Pokemon Go video. We've covered Pokemon Duel for an eternity. Almost three years. And now I can get into Pokemon Go because... Right now, for the next 30 days, if you guys don't know, a little, little bit of housekeeping, little bit of housekeeping you, one gold for 30 incense, so that means you can farm from home, but, and the, you know the incense lasts for one hour, so it'll be a spawning point. We just had the community day, that's how I was able to get that Prime Ape, but guys, this game right now is is 
it's where it's at you know it's pvp it's pokemon what we what we what we love it's action and yeah we might even be live streaming this so click the bell notification and the like button and let me know if you're ready for live streams i'm gonna sign sign off oh my gosh and remember guys pokemon go is not just a game it's a serious game this is showtime signing off peace trainers that was fun. That was amazing. If you're new, consider subscribing. I'm brand new on the Pokemon Go scene, and I would love to hear from you guys. Peace.